Trees weren't the only ones impacted by Milton. Vegetation like palm trees felt it too. Workers on McGregor Boulevard were seen earlier today removing some of the famous trees lining the road. Now we're asking questions about why those trees are being removed. Wink News reporter Valentina LaFranca is live on McGregor now. Valentina, what did the city tell you? Well, earlier I did see workers here on McGregor. They were literally lifting a palm tree out of the ground. They had a crane. As you can see now, they did fill the hole with some sand. The tree is still lying on its side over here. But I did ask them, is this a result of Hurricane Milton? And they answered me, yes. Here lies yet another casualty of Hurricane Milton. Palm trees on McGregor marked for removal. There was an evaluation done right after the hurricane, and we found that there were 14 or 15 trees here on McGregor that needed to be removed due to age, size, and the degree of tilt that they had on them. Did it have anything to do with the, the, the hurricane, the tornado? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. He says their end game is replacements. While these palm trees are now dead or too dangerous to stay, Debbie Hughes from the estates Sir. told me it's normal. It's always sad to lose a tree or a palm, either one. They've had a, a program to replace them all the time anyway. And they're going to, you know, as they get older, they do fall. The last ones that need to go stand temporarily marked with orange string. And the ones that have gone chopped up in a lot at the city of Palms Park. The city of Fort Myers workers tell me that they're coming back Monday to finish the job removing the remainder of the trees marked. But um, for now, reporting live in Fort Myers, Valentina LaFranca, Wink News.